multiple exposures can be used to give an impression of movement and speed. This technique lets you superimpose two or more images on the same frame of film as in traditional photography. Let's see how you might recreate this effect in Photoshop. I've isolated the central figure onto its own separate layer. And I want to position this figure at a distance and fade it repeatedly into the background. I'll use the numeric transform feature to accomplish the automatic placement as well as the visual sizing of the transplanted figure. I want to offset the figure in a nonlinear fashion. In order to make the movement appear to happen in the near past, I'll duplicate layer 1 and move the copy below it. So all the action appears to happen behind the stationary figure. Now choose Edit, Transform, Numeric. And in here, I'll move the figure in a non-proportionate set of values. And set the scale percentage. Now, in order to make multiple transformations using the same set of values, hold down the Command Option and Shift keys, or the Control Alt and Shift keys, and type T. Move this layer below each time. Now that we have the different exposures, we can go ahead and reduce the opacity on each and make them appear to fade into the background. I think I'll add this one more time to give it that complete view into the background. and move it below. I'll start reducing the opacity of the layer just beneath the stationary layer. You can even change the blending mode to add a creative touch. and move on to the next. Type Shift Option H to access the hard light mode. And enter the opacity value. And here we have a quick attempt at multiple exposures.